In this video, I'll briefly talk about what is reverse innovation and what are its implications for Western multinational corporations. During its life cycle from development to commercialization, an innovation usually uh, flows across countries, taking the nature of a global innovation. These international flows of innovation usually uh, have only one direction, uh, which is going from advanced economies to less advanced and emerging economies, as they get uh, cheaper to produce and therefore to buy. Uh, this view sees countries such as the US, Japan and Europe as the most innovative ones. Therefore, multinational corporations at quarter there would first develop and commercialize their products for those markets before adapting them and commercializing them in emerging economies. Reverse innovation is an innovation that follows the opposite path. It would uh, first originate or introduced in an emerging economy before trickling up into an advanced one. Over the past 10 to 20 years, reverse innovation has become a more and more important concept, most likely as a consequence of the following phenomena. First, consumers in emerging economies have become more mature and sophisticated. For example, cash in China is less and less used, uh, giving way to mass utilization of mobile payment. Second, multinational corporations, either foreign or local, uh, that operate in emerging economies, have learned and realized that in order to address those markets and demanding customers, they have to come up with innovations that are um, addressing those specific needs in creative ways. Uh, for example, Chinese consumers are very familiar with fintech technologies, uh, so providers have realized that and they went beyond the simple mobile payment system and develop a whole financial system based on fintech technologies. And finally, these innovations make their way to advanced markets, either disrupting existing technologies or creating entirely new markets. So what does this mean for uh, Western multinational corporations? First, there are new competitors that threaten your position in advanced markets. And these are multinational corporations from emerging economies such as China or India. For example, Chinese giant in the telecom industry Huawei is now global leader in 5G technology and has been penetrating international markets for a few years. Second, these threats might come from within your own organization. They might be reverse innovations developed and commercialized by your subsidiary operating in emerging economies. And those reverse innovation have the potential to cannibalize your products in advanced markets. Third, emerging markets can represent unique sources of innovations that can potentially revolutionize how we do things in advanced markets. I'm Dr. Simone Corsi, I'm a lecturer in strategy and innovation at Loughborough University School of Business and Economics. And I'm Associate Director of Enterprise for the Research Center of Corporate Entrepreneurship and Innovation.